I don't know how you like to smoke, but I usually smoke with rolls. I can't roll, roll baby. <laughs> nah, I know how to roll. Tell the people who you are. Alright. Ladies, go ahead and shoot y'all shot. Instagram's gonna be in the description. <laughs> He's single, not looking. <laughs> but you know, go ahead, follow and support him. He do music too. How many tattoos you got? I never counted mine. Uh, I'm still at that, that stage where it's like, all right, I'm, I feel like if you're under 20, you should know. If you're past 20, then you get a pass. But does that matter, like, how many tattoos you got separately or if you got them all together? How many you got separately? Because I know, like, I got three tattoos at the same time, but there's three separate tattoos. So it's like, I count that as three. Unless it's like you get a big piece that's like kind of like connected to other tattoos. Yeah, and that's all these flowers, this was like one whole session except for the keep going. That was like right. a separate thing. This is how I see it. When you got it, did you think of each tattoo as separate or did you think of it all as one? Mm, I wanted different shit for like my shading and like right. to the fill in parts. Right. But he kind of just, you know, did his own thing. Yeah. yeah. I was like, mm. well, you gotta be scripted when you're talking to them people. Yeah, the next time, time for sure. Because you're paying for that shit. Mm -hmm. You tell them motherfuckers like, that's exactly what I want. If you can't do this, I'll go somewhere else. That's Period. what you gotta tell people, for real. No, for real. Trail. That's like that one meme when um, it's like hey, all the nonchalant niggas need the girl that's going to uh, scream at the waiter until mm -hmm. they got the order wrong. <laughs> he said extra crispy. They ever fuck up your order and you not say nothing? I mean, it depends on my day, cause like I'm really a nonchalant nigga. That's crazy, but like some days I'm not nonchalant, so it's like you feel me. Like some right, depending on your mood. I'm in, a, I'm in a mood, and I'll say something. You feel me? But I let a lot of shit slide if I'm in a good mood. Like you know, like I don't really be giving yeah. a fuck. I don't be trying to like get out of the zone of being in a good mood. Like I like to try to stay in it for as long as I can. Yeah, most shit don't really matter. Yeah, it don't even be. It don't even be that important. Like people be losing their minds over shit that's not even important. It's not even True. worth. It's not worth losing your peace over. Like the whole Will Smith and Chris Rock thing. Somebody. I'd rather die for Jada. Yeah, no matter how many niggas she fucking. And I. Oh. <laughs> I respect that, like, cause if you if you with a girl and it's like y'all come to that agreement, it's like okay, like we right. can do what we want. Mm -hmm. Then it's like you should still have that same energy behind that woman, cause that's y'all agreement. So it's mm -hmm. like ain't no ain't no oh let some other nigga handle this, nah. Like, like, right, that's why it's funny why people keep saying they she cheated on him multiple times. Y'all don't know what Will is doing behind the scenes. Right, his right. hoes probably don't act yeah. you know crazy like it's, that. It's pretty sure Will. Will allows Jada to do what she wants. Like Jada's the type of woman she a boss ass chick. So it's like you you can't hold down a chick like that. You can't tell a chick like that what to do. She really chose the right one to mess around with too, cause August don't talk to nobody. He don't mess with nobody. He ain't never in no drama. Now let's we'll see when Will's side piece come out, it's gonna be all him. Super bad or super rich? One of those. Or talented. I can't wait to take my patience. You need my patience too. Burgers. Clutch burgers. Clutch up the burgers. Burgers of the clutch. Wait, what kind of Arizona is that you're drinking? You know it's got pee in it. Boy, if you don't. You remember that? You remember that rumor when they was talking about the Arizona tea got like one percent or something like human pee in it? I never heard of that before, but that you sounds hilarious. Did you hear that? Um, not yet. I actually wasn't even looking. You ever done shrimps? No. Never. I've never done any such things. Never? I always felt like I didn't need to. I already feel like a psychic. You know? Like natural. Trill, I bet you here! It's more of an enhancing, different dimension type of thing. But I already feel like I be on that time. <laughs> 
It's like, why would I want what I'm doing more extreme? It's already extreme. But I like that extreme feeling. <laughs> this isn't real, but exactly. I know I am real. Exactly. That's the focus. Exactly. And it's that's the thing that when you just take them, it makes you focus on what you want to focus on. Said I fast every Thanksgiving. I don't celebrate any um, pagan holidays or American tradition. And I, I fast out of respect for the um, for the Indians, the native, natives that died. And that's crazy because I just made some bomb ass yams and ham last year. And I don't eat pork either. Since I was two years old. He was just so healthy. When I was younger, my dad like he used to make me watch a lot of stuff like. I watch a lot of Malcolm X stuff, like um, instead of Martin Luther King, like um, Black Panthers, shit like that. Like I was watching stuff like that when I was younger. So he was waking your ass up. I, huh? I was kind of already. Ahead. He was already there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> already where I needed to be. Yeah, this burger better be good. It better be for twenty dollars. It's impressive. Clutch no. burgers. Yeah. Your burger better be clutch. Yeah. That lighting. Yes, yeah, it's good too. Okay. Hey, I like how they come in this little deep fryer. That's cute. Not the name of the burger, but it's got a pineapple in it, and it better be busting. I don't even know where to bite it. It's good. Mm. Yeah, that barbecue sauce did it. Mm. Clutch. Clutch. That mango just did it though. Not the mango. The pineapple. Give me a little to go. Thank you. Would you like to put it right now or are you Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it up now. and my flight is delayed till five maybe hopefully might get some more pictures today i didn't end the vlog off yesterday because i was high off shrooms and hopefully i can get some more footage today vlog some more stuff before i leave it's supposed to rain though so it's on my way to the airport now my flight's still delayed be raining later. It's way too close to when my flight is supposed to be leaving, so no pictures today. I forgot to mention that I was out here for a photo shoot. Um, Keefe, the one you guys saw earlier, he is a photographer. Y'all go check him out. He takes some dope pictures. He also has his own modeling agency. Y'all go check that out too. But yeah, we were supposed to take some pictures at the beach, but I come from. <laughs> I had a long ass flight from Miami. 
It was raining, it was thunderstorming, it was hailing a little bit. And now I'm just ready to get back to the Bay Area. Like, it's like 12 now, it's like 11.50 or something now. I guess I'll let y'all know when I get on this plane. Gate 37. <sighs> Seems like such a long walk and the damn shit ain't even working. I'm so tired, y'all. But the trip was worth it. I got some fire pictures. I, I can't even wait to show y'all. After this drop, they'll probably be posted already. So just go follow me on Instagram. Check my Instagram, Amanda Mia Moore. And y'all gonna see the fire pictures I took out here. Well, not out here in Miami. Cause out here is New York and I didn't take the pictures out here. <laughs> so I'm stuck in New York for the night because my JetBlue flight was delayed for hours. My original flight from New York to San Francisco left already. I would have been out there at 12 in the morning, but I got out here at 11. So I missed that flight at eight. And I didn't even know that JetBlue was supposed to issue me a certificate for a hotel since they were the issue on why my flight was delayed and why I'm stuck here. And I don't know, part of me wants to just be ghetto and stay at the airport all night because I don't even feel like going to a hotel and doing all that. My flight's at six in the morning, so it's already 12 a.m. And this kind of sucks because I was expecting to be back home tonight, so I'm kind of irritated. It's 6.30 in the morning. I've been here all night. They just now boarding. I'm ready to go home. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog though, even though it was all over the place and I got stuck in New York for a couple hours, but more vlogs coming soon. Bye, pandas. <laughs>